This is 9-2, solving systems of equation by substitution. You have done this a couple of times informally. Now this is the formal lesson on solving systems of equations by substitution. What does it mean to substitute? That's where you take something out and replace it with something else. When you have two variables, an x and a y, you are going to have a a solution that is an ordered pair. You can actually do this with uh, three variables, an x, a y, and a z, or any three. Um, in Algebra 1, we're going to just stick with the two variables. So here we go. Three steps, lots of places to write. So it says solve for a single variable, doesn't matter which equation you choose first. Choose the easiest. So since I have y equals 3x, I'm going to use that. Substitute and solve. So I'm going to substitute it into the other equation. So x plus y equals 8, but instead of this y, I'm going to replace it with 3x. x plus 3x equals 8. 4x equals 8. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 2. Then I'm going to find the other value and write the solution. I can plug it into either equation. I'm going to do the easiest one. And if y equals 3x, and I know what x is, so I'm going to substitute it in and y, uh, y equals 6. So I have the ordered pair 2 comma 6, and that is my answer. It's the same process over and over. I have this red line because I'm going to do it two different, I'm going to do this same problem two times and I should get the same answer. So it says solve for a variable. So I have a y. So I'm going to do 2x plus y equals 9. y equals 9 minus 2x. I then go to the other equation x plus 4 times 9 minus 2x equals 1. x plus 36 minus 8x equals 1. Negative 7x plus 36 equals 1. Minus 36 minus 36. Negative 7x equals negative 35. Divide by negative 7. x equals 5. There's one coordinate. I'm going to do x plus 4y equals 1. 5 plus 4 times y equals 1. Don't need the parentheses there. Subtract 5, subtract 5, 4y equals negative 4, y equals negative 1. My solution is 5 comma negative 1. So I took this equation and solved for y. I'm now going to take the other equation and solve for x. So x equals 1 minus 4y. I then take 2 times 1 minus 4y plus y equals 9. So I'm plugging into the other equation. 2 minus 8y plus y equals 9. 2 minus 7y equals 9. Subtract 2, subtract 2, negative 7y equals 7, y equals negative 1. I like the bottom equation still. x plus 4y equals 1. x plus 4 times negative 1 equals 1. 4, oh, sorry, x minus 4 equals 1, 
add 4, add 4, x equals 5. My answer is 5, negative 1. So as long as you do all the math and manipulation, you can go different paths as long as they're legal paths. This one solve for a variable. 3 and 5 would cause fractions. There's a 1 right here. So I'm going to use this one. 2a minus b equals 1. Negative b equals 1 minus 2a. b equals negative 1 plus 2a. I can leave it like that. 5a minus 3b equals 0. I'm substituting in for the b. 5a minus 3 times negative 1 plus 2a equals 0. 5a plus 3, because that's a negative 3 being distributed, minus 6a equals 0. Negative a plus 3 equals 0. I'm going to pull the a to the other side. So I have 3 equals a. There's one of my variables. Then I have 2 times 3 minus b equals 1. I don't like the variable b because my sloppy writing makes it look like a 6 every once in a while. 6 minus b equals 1. 6 minus what gives me 1? b has to be 5. When you do your solutions, it's an ordered pair and it's always in alphabetical. So it's 3 comma 5. You are going to have some solved by substitution. When is this advantageous? When I have a variable with a coefficient of 1 a coefficient of 1, or I can easily manipulate an equation and not have to deal with a lot of fractions.